Hey what's going on guys, Mookie back here again and welcome back to more Guild Wars. Now in the last part we did the Warrior uh, Headmaster quest, so today we're going to be working on the Monk. Uh, so if you're interested in taking the Monk profession as your secondary field of study then you will need to speak with Headmaster Amara. Amara is a Kurzik from the Stone Forest, she's a woman of strong opinions. She thinks I do not know that she disapproves of my station here, but her scorn does not trouble me. Her scorn I should say. She's an excellent monk and can teach you what you need to know. Seek her out in Xingxi Monastery. Okay, so let's go and do that. I probably should point out that I'm, again, I'm recording this at 5 a.m. And for some reason I didn't sleep well at all last night, so. Um, I've, I, there's no reason why. It's just, I guess it's just a bad night. Um, like, I don't feel sick or anything. Even though it is, what day is it? I think it's the 23rd today. Yeah, it's actually December the 23rd, so tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So that's something to look forward to. I'm going to my wife's parents' house. Like I said in the first video, I'm originally from Ireland. Uh, I grew up in England, and now I live in Texas. So this is this is actually my first Christmas since moving to the U.S. Because I moved in February, so I just missed it. But uh, anyway, back to Guild Wars. You wish to study the ways of the monk. It does not surprise me. I saw a sign just this morning. A jay and a finch sat side by side on the green branch of an errand of an elm tree, indicating that a young person would seek my advice. As a monk, you also do the path of light and learn to heal and protect your allies, the gods decree it. You are ready to begin your training? Excellent. It's good to see such enthusiasm in one so young. The life of a monk is sometimes all too tranquil in my opinion. Sister Tai, my apprentice, will administer your first lesson. She's an accomplished monk and you can learn a great deal from her. If you pay attention, you'll find her in some quavail. Okay, so, there we go. So I've got a holy rod, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Now, Sister Ty is actually... Oh, let me get rid of some of these, I don't... Uh, oh, I've got to drag it there, okay. i get rid of some of these, so I don't need... I can, I can sell that one. I don't think I can sell the starter weapons, so I'll just get rid of them. But, um, Sister Ty is actually one of the henchmen that you can use as a... I mean, one of the, the people that you can use as a henchman later on in the game. So I do recognize the name Sister Ty. Because right now I think we just have... Yeah, we just have Taya. One thing I should point out is this really cool dragon, like, going out here. It was really freaking cool. So it's the small details in Guild Wars that, that... That make it so beautiful, I guess. So I'm gonna get a healer, I'll get a quick shot. Uh, Guardian. And then we'll head back out into Sunco Vale like we always do. Like I said, one of the best, one of the best places in the game, in my opinion. So I can't complain about being in Sunco Vale so, so often. Okay, so where are we going here? Okay, so she's up near where Talon Silverwing was uh, when we just did the the Warrior Quest. One thing that I did differently about the the last video, I was actually when I was editing my videos, I was saving them in a really ridiculous like file type so the file size was really huge and I was I was confused it was taking like three like literally three days and nights to upload like straight just to upload a video to YouTube and so then I figured out there was actually a YouTube setting that I could use and if I use that it only takes like an hour so it's a lot better I'm not having to wait days days and days in between videos I can just simply use that and the I can get one up a day, which which was my goal, trying to get a video up every day, which I think is actually going to be my New Year's resolution this year too. Uh, at least upload one video a day, whether it be Guild Wars or something else. Because I mean, I've got Guild Wars going. I've I've started Halo as well, which I need to do another part on. And that's the game. Because I I noticed I was doing Guild Wars and Minecraft, and I wanted to do a single player game that I could like play through and then replace with another game because. There's a lot of games I want to play through, and I don't want to have too many series going at the same time. So I figured I would do Halo, play through that, and then probably start up another game. I'm not sure if I'll do Halo 2 straight after, but I will be getting to that eventually. But anyway, here's Sister Ty. Headmaster Amara has seen something in you, else she would not have sent you to me so soon. It is good that you have joined our ranks. If you are ready, I will teach you the basics of healing. Perhaps I can learn something from you as well. Doodling Circle is a practice area where the warriors train. We monks can assist in their training as we practice our own craft by healing them as they spar. We extend their training sessions and allow them to practice with real weapons. Walk over to so Doodling Circle and retrieve one of the other students from duty. 
Okay, so where is Yudelin's circle? Oh, I've got it. I got it. I am comf comforted to know that you have chosen the path of Y. It warms my heart to see new monks learning the art of prayer, healing, and protection. One day, all of Kantha will and join us in prayer and cleanse the land of the evils that infects it. What has brought you to me in such a beautiful day? We leave the other students at Yunlin Circle and heal the warriors as they train. Okay, so it's just here, is it? Okay. So this is Yunlin Circle. So I've got to try and heal these. Okay, so we've got this one that is a frozen. Okay. That's a resurrection. This skills a target for 20 health. Target gains plus 4 health to regen, so that's a pretty good one. So I basically gotta try and keep this guy alive for a whole minute, it seems. Which is actually harder than it looks because they're, he's really taking damage. Th this is the spell to use healing touch, it seems like. Okay, I'm gonna wait, wait for him to go down a little bit now. There we go. 20 seconds to go. So I hope we've got this in the bag here. Oh, down my mana. 10 seconds. Give him one more. See, the monk, the monk thing is actually kind of, kind of cool. Like I never thought I would be into using monk spells, but that was actually pretty fun. Anyway, let's go back to Sister Ty. Headmaster Mara was right. You put your faith... Oh, right to put your faith in you. You'll be a great monk one day. I commend you on your outstanding performance, Mookie Plays. I have taught you all I can for now. You're ready to move on. Travel to Kenya Province and seek out Brother P1. He will continue your training. Okay, so... Okay, so he's out there, so I've got to go over the mountain again. Which, as we found out last time, that was kind of difficult because there is Crimson Skull out there, which is... A bit of a pain, but hopefully we can get through it this time a little easier because I'm slightly higher level and I have some head, some henchmen moving this time because the last time I tried that I completely forgot to get henchmen and I died, so hopefully we'll do a little better. Um, oh, one thing that sucks I have the... Oh, that's kind of stupid. I have... They've replaced like my whole bar with, with monk spells, so I can't really attack anymore. But it looks like I'm going to be relying on my henchmen and just trying to heal them up. I'm like a secondary healer in the in the group, so hopefully the uh, the the quick shot and the guardian are fairly good. Cause here they are now, some crimson skull. Okay, so I'm gonna focus on healing this guy. It's not too bad. I can't actually take him out. Oh, I got, we got the spirit at least. Yeah, sis, sister, uh, or Ty, I should say. Ty does a pretty good job of healing, to be honest. I can't can't say a bad thing about her. She does her job well. See, this guy's a, this guy's a boss, so that's kind of annoying. But I want to try and take these guys out first. Try and take these out so we don't... Yeah, we don't pull him in. And then we should go for him. So, cause I think that's the mistake I made last time. I just rushed in. Try and take out small groups. That's, that seems to be the key with Guild Wars. Try and take out the smaller groups before. Oh, it's the key with any MMO, to be honest. You don't want to just run straight in. Oh, there's a Candy Cane Shard. That's from the Winter's Day thing, so I'm going to get that. I think I've got some of those in my chest, actually, from the last one, but I'm not, I'm not certain on that. Let's try and take out this little... He's not really a boss, I don't know what you call him. Trying. There we go. Watch me. Oh, pull those guys. Oh well, hopefully we don't, we don't get too terribly here. Okay, he's not, he's not too far from dying, this guy. He's level 6 as well, which is the same level as me, so... It shouldn't be too difficult. Oh crap, the quick shot's dead. Oh, 
What is the quick shot? Yeah, I can't see. I'm pulling everything. Yeah, this really sucks. I've, I've like screwed it up again because I didn't really notice those guys that were down there. So hopefully we can kill as, as much as we can here. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're not we're not doing as bad as I thought we were. <laughs> I, I thought we we're about to die. Actually, the hero henchman just died. Damn it! I guess that leaves it up to me. Oh, she's back anyway. And another candy cane shard. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick these up. These are salvage items. I don't think you can use them to make stuff, but I could be wrong. I do have a candy cane bow in my chest, I think. So I, maybe you can use them to make those. I'm not I'm not 100. I should look up the winter state thing because. Probably it's something I want to try and do a little bit on. So let's pick this up and I'll get the Crimson Skull Cave as well to salvage. Okay, so for fortunately we didn't die. We didn't do too terribly. I screwed up a little bit, but overall I think we did pretty good there. So now let's go on to the next bit. Now I died on this bit before as well. This little area where there's, where there's some more little groups in them. Actually, they, they drop down from the trees here, don't they? So I'll be on the lookout for that. There we go. I'll take out the raider first. For no other reason other than I just think it's cool to take out the raider. Probably should take out the rituals first since they're summoning, summoning spirits in. Copper Crimson Skull Coin. My inventory's full, so I'm going to get rid of one of the, get rid of the starter daggers. And pick this up. I need to get a salving, sal salvage kit so I can get the materials out of this stuff. Oh, here's some more. So I'm going to go for the ritualist first this time. There we go. That was actually fairly easy to take him down, to be honest. And then we'll do the skull raider. I think there's another person over here. No, that's it. Just a spirit to deal with. Pick up these coins. How many coins do we have now? Hey, hey, okay. I do have some in my chest as well. Which, I, like I said, I'm doing a whole separate video showing off everything that's in my chest. Because I do have some other characters that I've been playing through. I do have a main character, which was a necromancer. Necromancer slash elementalist, I think. Yeah, I think it, I'm sure it was. So that, that was what I, I'm used to playing. Uh, so we'll be showing off my, my chest, because obviously the, the chests in Guild Wars, if you don't know, are shared between your whole account, so anything you put in there on one character can be accessed by another character, which is really, really good idea, to be honest. So yeah, I'll be showing off that. I've got, like I said, I've got some dragon masks and a lot of miniatures. I've got a whole tab full of miniatures, so I'll be showing those off. And I do have some that I've got two, like I've got doubles of some miniatures, so I will be looking to trade. Um, so if anyone, when I'm doing that video, if anyone wants to comment and ask, ask for some trades, we can obviously arrange that. Because there's no point in having two of every, or two of some miniature. Okay, I've almost got this. There's one more to go, there we go. Oh no, there's still a, still a mender there. Some reason I thought it was a mesmer, but it's mender. There we go. Spirit of Pain, and then you can head on. Now, is this a... I think this is one of those little... Yeah, he's there, look. Jin the Skull Bow, level 6. Oh, and these guys dropped... This This is where I died. I remember now. Take out these guys first. That might be a little easier. I'm hoping it's a little easier anyway. But we're about to find out. Come on. At least take one out. I don't want to die having to come back and face all of them. Come on. Can he die? He didn't die. I cannot believe that. I, I didn't even get that resurrection. Oh, good lord. This is exactly the same thing that happened before. I'm not going to lie. Like, the exact same spot. What a pain. 
all the way back here. <sighs> oh, jeez. Looks like this is going to be a long video again, guys. I literally died in the exact same spot when I was doing the, um, I think it was the assassin. I was doing the assassin, like the same banner, little tutorial quest, and I died in the exact same spot. Ah, <sighs> jeez. At least I got past the first little bit, I guess. I'm sure there's another, like, you can, yeah, you could get through that way, I think. I think there's another way you can go. Maybe I should try that. I'm not, I'm not certain on that, but I'm pretty sure you could go up here and across there, maybe, which is here. Maybe I could do that. No, my luck, I'll be, I'll go down here and I'll end up. I like I'll find out that I'm going the complete wrong way. Okay, there's still Crimson Skull either way. Let me take out the Rituals first. Ugh. Yeah, this is going to be hard now because I've got minus 13%. Okay, take out the Ritualist. Take out the Mesmer. No, that is actually a Mesmer this time, so maybe it was last time. I just There's Minders and there's Mesmers. Now take out the Skull Raider. Level 3, take him out, there we go. That's a blue, so I want to pick that up. So I'll get rid of this to start a Ritualist Wand. And what don't I need? Let's get rid of that. Okay, so now we can head off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can go this way. I'm hoping I can anyway, because I don't want to be going completely, completely the wrong way. I think I'll just bring me out in an, like through another little instance type thing. Well, it's always good to explore new areas, and I'm not, I'm not aiming to go for the, the title where you explore the whole, the whole game, because that's pretty ridiculous. But I will explore as much as I can. Why is she running off? Where's she going? I'm not sure what she was doing there. Okay, so I can go this way, it looks like. <laughs> Fingers crossed for me. Oh, you know what? This looks like a dead end. Please don't be a dead end. No, it's not. Thank God. Oh, good lord, I've completely missed the... the oh, why didn't I do that in the first place? I completely avoided the enemies that I just died at. So I found a shortcut now, anyway. Well, it's not really... Sh well, I guess it is, because... There was, like, one group of enemies, and that was it. I should have been using this way the whole time. Ah, well. At least I showed some more of... The little snowy mountain, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay, so where are we going here? So, over this way. And of course, there's some more Crimson Skull, so let me take out the Mesmer first. Get these out of the way, and then we can continue on with our little adventure. And the Skull Raider. They're using Bow Attack. It's always good to look up their little skills that they're using, because a lot of the times you'll be using the same skills, so... Oh, I remember now, there's this little area where they're training, and you can just walk straight past them. There we go. So we're going back down here again, which I'm not sure what this village is called exactly, but... Or if, even if it has a name, it's just full of peasants, it looks like. This little... Little water fountain. Like I said, I, I always like the small, the small things in this game. The little scenery that they've put in. Okay, how far? In oh, she was just there. Okay. So I think she's... Yeah, she's up in here. See, these are all peasants. And she's just up here for some reason. Or he. Brother P1. You are quite fortunate that Headmaster Amara has agreed to train you. She's quite... She's quite the most accomplished to our Headmaster and really should have promoted by now. Are you ready for your next lesson? Good, let's get started. Headmaster Amara has foreseen that sickness will come to Kantha soon. 
a plague that will turn even the meek into raging monsters that kill everything they see. Headmaster Mora is never wrong. We must gather two ingredients, nung berries and tiling buds, so she can attempt to create an antidote. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to make space for these, so I'm going to get rid of the flat bow. And the starter axe. And it looks like we're going to have to gather some ingredients, so... There's one up there, it looks like, so... It doesn't look too far away. Look at this guard. If only you would go and deal with the crimson. What is this? This Tomat Pass. Okay. So I came from that way before, so I'm going this way now. Is that a collector? Yeah, it is. Me Fi. See, like I said, there's lots of those people around here. Oh, there's ogres over there. Or Yeti. Is it an ogre or Yeti? They're Yetis. A red Yeti, so. Okay, I bet that's what we need to get right there. Yeah. So there's a Nong Berry bush. So we got the Nong Berries, now we've got to head down here to get the... What is it? Tiling Buds? Which doesn't look too far either. Look at the scenery. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm in like the, the northern part. Seems to be a lot of mountains around here. Yeah, it's a lot of mountains. Okay, so I've got to go down slightly. These are mounted, so these aren't these aren't necessarily going to do anything. I'll take one out. See, if you take one out and another one sees it, it'll run towards you. Now there's a violet brown dye which I want to pick up because those can sell for a decent amount. So I'm going to get that and I will drop something else. Um, the starter sword. You don't need these starter weapons, you can always just replace them, so... Nothing lost there. Okay, what is this place? This is Sajian Woods. So this is a little woodland area. Um, oh, there we go. Tiling Vine. Tiling Woods acquired, so that's it. That was easy enough. Now I've got to head back up and give them to them, I guess. Now that's the first time anyone's ever mentioned the plague, which is... The main storyline in, in factions, uh, uh, the play takes over the island. You gotta, you gotta find the source and eventually cure it. So that's the first first time like one of the headmasters has actually mentioned it. So we gotta head back with our ingredients now. That was kind of a fun little mission. I mean, a little quest. It wasn't too much trouble. So she was just. Or he was just over here. I like the, the Yeti's cave, I these bones sticking out. What level are the Yeti's? Level 12, so I don't want to bother them just yet. Just focus on getting back with our with our leaves over the Tomat Pass. I should have brought a drink. I, I didn't bring a drink with me this time. And like I said, my throat is kind of aching a little bit. But we're here now, and once I finish this, I'll be ending the video as always, so. Back we go. <laughs> oh, my stuff's still on the floor. I know I did not make it easy for you, but you did well nonetheless. I'm impressed. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. Master T okay, so we gotta go back to Master Togo now. So, back to the monastery. And we'll see which one we'll be picking up on our next video, which... Well, I'll probably record tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve, so... I'll get another one out of the way before Christmas, and I probably will record on Christmas Day, to be honest, because, like I said, I'm going to my wife's parents' house, but it won't be till, well, it won't be at 5 a.m., so I probably could get a video recorded and have it uploading throughout the day. So, yeah, you probably can't expect another video on Christmas Day as well, so. I really want to do a live stream at some point, that's something I want to, something I'm aiming for, uh, on Guild Wars and some other stuff, and then I could upload the parts to YouTube. But anyway, Master Togo. Headmaster Amara has told me great things about you, Mookie Plays. You've begun to learn the ways of the monk. Um, okay, so accept that. And next time we'll be doing the Necromancer with Headmaster Kuju. So that's going to be it for this part. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.